we're gonna dive into another personal finance website, one that I'm actually familiar with, and I have some great ideas for it, so let's get into it. Before we do, go check out the perfect blog post cheat sheet over at moneylab.co slash cheat sheet. It is 100% free and you can download it today to help improve your underperforming post. So let's get into this site very quickly. It is called moneyfortherestofus.com. Now, I know the owners of this site and that doesn't mean I'm not gonna be any kinder on their site. I do have some ideas that can absolutely help them uh, with this site. But before we get into the design and the branding and all that stuff, I just want to read sort of the context behind this website. So this website gets a decent amount of traffic. It gets between 10,000 and 50,000 page views. It's got 381 posts. I'm assuming a lot of those are podcasts. I'm assuming, uh, cause it's a lot of posts. Then, uh, they promote via Google SEO and YouTube and podcasts cause it is a very successful podcast. I know that. Uh, they have a decent amount of email subscribers at 6,400, and they have a membership site. Now, this site does well, okay? Um, it does about $25,000 a month, and the goal is to increase the number of paying members to their membership platform. Now, uh, I think that, you know, they had said that they're looking at, uh, we're going to look at their sales page, but their traffic from Google is not converting in the email subscribers. It's sitting at 0.67%. That's under the national average, which I think is around like one to 2%. So that's not that great, but let's take a look at what we can do here. So one, kind of off the bat with the, with the homepage, center it up. I got like, I got conflicting like spacing here, right? So I have the logo up here. Fine. I have uh, way too many options over here, by the way, uh, remove this top half, get rid of the search. I'm telling you, you don't need to search. Um, if you want to put a search button in, you can add a little search icon that they can click and go to a search page. But like, I'm sure this is not helping you as much as you think it is. I would get rid of this whole top section, bring this up, make the logo just a tad smaller. It's a decent, it's, it's a decent logo. Uh, if you, it's a little bit smaller, I think it'd be okay. Shrink that up. Move this side, right? This image over here. Bring this all in line with this top area. Bring it all in line. And then uh, here's where the first problem is. If a lot of people are coming to your website with from Google and they're hitting your homepage, this is not a compelling offer. Subscribe to the Insider's Guide. It's very boring. It means nothing. The more important, bigger headline needs to probably be this second sentence, it's usually the case. Uh, the problem though, is that you're assuming that anybody who that finds this website knows who David is. And I don't think, da I mean, I know who David is, but I don't think if you're, if you're fresh and you haven't listened to the podcast, it's a hard sell. If you've heard the podcast and you've been to the site, then, then you know who David is, right? But anywhere else, you don't know who David is. So just be aware of that. Also, this image doesn't give me like, well, what am I getting, right? You also say, get David's 10 question guide to master successful investing. You're, so you're, so there's, it's really a guide you're getting. And yet over here, you're telling them to sign up. So really it should be more like get the guide or, you know, the 10 question guide or something like that, right? Now, uh, this is probably not, I'm assuming the homepage is not where most of your traffic's going to. I know that you said that this, page right here. This is, uh, uh, you know, the S packs, what, um, you know, what is it basically special purpose acquisition companies fun. <laughs> um, so this is a popular post on the site and kind of just looking at it. If you're trying to get more email subscribers and people don't get past this section and they only go so far, you've lost them. I think it's best to have something at the top and that's your goal here, right? You're doing content marketing, great, but the goal is to get some your email subscribers. So put something at the top, a compelling offer at the top to get them to subscribe instead of having to wait until I get to this middle part, which should be full width, right? Or you should bring, technically, I think, you should bring the text in a little bit tighter because 
this is a long ways for your eye to read. Like it's a little too wide, right? You want to read short. You want to kind of like, your, you don't want your eyes to be like, you don't want your head doing this while you're reading. I know that's probably not what people are doing, but you just want your eyes. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Now, here, it has a totally different headline than this one, right? This says, subscribe to the insider's guide. Okay. Then this one says, need a guide to become a better investor? Question mark. Boring, right? I mean, you know, it's like, think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. You know, give me the outcome. You know, become a better investor by blank, 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 or become a better investor without going to economic school. What's it called? <laughs> Getting a degree in, in, in finance, you know, whatever it is. Like those are, those are more like, you know, become a better investor with this shortcut, with this investor cheat sheet, whatever, with this, you know, with this 10 question guide. Now, the thing about that is that doesn't really feel like a great offer, does it? get David's 10 question guide. So wait a minute, you just asked me a question and I'm supposed to sign up to get 10 more questions. Now there's probably something, it, I'm assuming the 10 question guide has got a got more value to it, right? It's not just a 10 question guide. Is it a, you know, what what what's the outcome again of that, of that 10 question guide? What is it that you're supposed to achieve with it? Think about that. And I don't know what it is, so it's hard for me to say, but, I don't, uh, just just looking at this box from a design point of view, and again, I kind of was talking more about copywriting and then, you know, now we're still in the branding. You can see it down here at the bottom, like point this way, right? Okay, so we're talking about branding. Uh, I know that the egg is a part of the, and I'm assuming egg, right? Is a part of the Money for the Rest of Us brand. I know it looks like you've changed your logo, uh, which makes sense. I kind of like the idea of like all, you know, all money is in paper format here for now. Right. Um, and then the egg is interesting, but the egg does nothing here. It just takes up space. So I would say you don't need the egg. And in fact, you should probably make this a little bit wider so that you can put an image of what the guide is, like what they're going to get. Right. Even though it's not going to be something physical, I still feel like on the internet, it needs to feel like you're getting something physical because it feels more valuable than something like, I don't know, a fake envelope with an at symbol in it. That sound that looks like the boringest email or even just the boringest letter I would ever get in the mail. It's like I open up my card and it's like, it's an at symbol. What are you going to do with it? Put it on the mantle? No. Uh, so... Uh, any, any other than that, like I actually like the color. Uh, it really sticks out, right? I like this. I think this orange could actually be a little bit brighter. You could make it a little bit brighter. And the problem is, is by making it a little bit brighter, it's going to be hard to see on the rest of the site. But um, as far as the color scheme is concerned, I think it's pretty good. Uh, again, it's very wide. And yeah, you can see here, I think, yeah, I mean, that's a decent color. I mean, I would just stick with it. What am I, what do I know? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, sign up is not the right CTA there, right? It's not, it's not the right call to action. It needs to be download or get the guide or, or whatever it is. So, so work on, spend more time on the offer and whatever it is that you're offering, like, like get that right. And you may have to do some AB testing. You probably have enough traffic where you could do that and, and start to see results, but test the complete, a completely different offer, test a 10 question guide, test a you know, investor cheat sheet, that would be, I think that would work really well. Or like an investor checklist of like how to, you know, if you're evaluating stocks, like, you know, boom, 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 hit these, like, you know, check these areas in whatever software you use for stocks. Like these are the core areas and, and have that all, oh my God, that would work so well. And just say download, boom, you'll get more subscribers. Now you may get a lot of subscribers that are well, I mean, you're offering something anyway, but you know, you, they could just want the free thing and then not do anything, but a lot of them are going to want the free thing. And then if you start immediately offering, offering them via email, like a lot of the work to convert people into your membership is going to be done on the back end. And I know that we've talked before via email and stuff. And so I know like you are doing that work on the back end. It's really just about improving the front end and, and you know, opening up that funnel hole a little bit wider. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's where my brain went. Um, and as far as like, uh, the, the, the kind of the, see now here, 
on this page, you can see it's kind of lined up. It's not really this logo is kind of a little bit too far over here. This should be lined up and you should, I mean, not that you're taking up a ton of room. I'll be honest. It's not a ton of room. I, I'm, I'm nitpicking here, but I do think you could shrink that, that top bar just a little bit by getting rid of this top section here. Um, you don't, again, don't need a home button. We all know this goes home. Uh, topics is probably the same thing that's under guides, which has a mega menu. That's great. Your info, login, you could have join and login next to each other as buttons, as opposed to, um, cause you may want the join button kind of like as the join button, right? You may want that to, to pop a little bit more than the rest of these. And again, the about can go down at the bottom. I think a lot of people who are coming to this site probably know who you are from the podcast and other, you know, marketing channels, acquisition channels that you're using. So you probably don't need the about as front and center. And yeah, I would, I would also think about, um, now you have like, okay, you have the wide area, right? So you have this, let me, let me just pull up and let me just, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Okay, let's just pull up uh, an example from here. So uh, what you can see here is this is the Money Lab site, right? So I have this like top bar, which is technically the same size. This is actually going to change around. This is all the same size. This is the same size. But then once we get into the content, pff, it's like kind of like squeezed a little bit, right? And that's simply because it's easier to read like this than it is to all of a sudden read like, oh, it's getting bigger. It's taking forever to get from one side to the other. So I think that would just help in general. That's more of like a whatever thing, a branding thing. Uh, I don't think SEO is really a problem here. And again, like, you know, mo mostly talking about the copywriting of, of getting people into the, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's definitely a copywriting issue. It could even be like, just adding the uh, the offer more time. So I have my offers at the, and you can see it here. My offer is at the top, right? And by the way, if you are interested in this, not that um, it, just anybody out there who's interested in this, uh, this is called Carbonate. This is the this is my WordPress theme. And you can find it at moneylab.co slash Carbonate. Shameless bug, let's move on. So then we have the my offer, my big offer right here at the top. We have it in the middle of the post. Okay, and then we have it at the end of my posts, right? And I think you've done a good job at making it stick out as I'm, whoa, it's like it's, everything's kind of white and plain and then boom, bold, dark blue. Your your primary color is the background. Your your secondary color, this like orangey yellow mustardy color as your secondary is the button, great. I would make the button have a white text, maybe a little bit bolder. Again, using that CTA being something like get the download, whatever. And you don't really need this egg. I would take, get rid of the egg, shift everything over to the right and put in that offer and, and visual of what that offer is. Uh, and again, put that at the top, put that in the middle, like you've done here, you know, shrink this shrink, you know, make all, make sure this all lines up. Right. And I'm sure it lines up on mobile, right? Let's inspect it. You know, basically that, right? You have, you have it here. And then as soon as you start getting past a certain width, it's like, oh, it keeps growing. Right. Uh, and then let's scroll down and then you have it at the bottom. Great. And yeah, it looks like I was right that, um, so this is a, yeah, this is a podcast. Wow. This is a great, this is a great podcast post. If that's, you know, that's insane. So yeah. Um, oh, wow. You have it. Wait. Okay. Hold on a second. I've seen some errors here. So we have, wait. So it looks like you have it once in the middle. Great. Moving down. We have it again at the end. I'm assuming feels like the end and then we keep going and then it's like the end again, but then what's this other call to action? Ah, so this looks like the join button. Is this it? All right, let's go back. Let's scroll back up to the top and let's say we want to join the community. Ah, okay. It is the same thing. So interesting. So it looks like you're doing, you have two calls to action now, right? And that's, and that's completely fine. I do this at swim university and brew cabin where I have like 
if you want to subscribe, it had at the top and the bottom and in the middle, instead of putting the, you know, to call instead of putting the, uh, you know, the offer for just like subscribing, I put the actual product and that, that makes sense. I would maybe swap out, you know, if you put your offer in at the top for the free download, the offer in at the bottom for the free download, and then, uh, put the, in, in the middle, it can be like for the membership itself. Uh, you probably, if the, if the membership requires like a big upfront cost, like it's pretty expensive and I'm, yeah. So, okay. 50 bucks a month is pretty expensive for a monthly membership, $450 a year, definitely expensive for a, a, a you know, a product, not really an impulse buy, not something that I, th you know, and again, this is an opinion, but it's not something that I would put on like on the page that's like send people directly to. I would, I would I would mainly do a lot of the sales in email because that way you can kind of like warm them up into this idea and get them frothing to be like, yes, I want to be a part of this fucking community you keep talking about. Like I want in, send me the link. I'm, I'm primed, I'm ready to go and I'm gonna get in, okay? I don't care how much it costs. Uh, so the, the only other thing and going back to branding real quick, because I know that we're running along here is I just feel from this, it, sh it feels like there's a lot going on. It doesn't feel tight and clean. And as far as like uh, what I would do to fix that is get rid of like, like underlines, um, table of contents with all of these different arrows is really kind of confusing. Um, and it's, and there's just a lot of like, and this is all good. Uh, this is great. And then, yeah, it just, then you have these like sidebars that kind of appear and it just feels, um, I don't know. It doesn't feel very inviting. And if I think it, you, I hope you kind of know what I'm saying. I think that the headlines and the H twos and H threes are like, just they're not really for the average person. And maybe this isn't for the average person, but I feel like even if you're not gearing towards like dum-dums, <laughs> you know, you're gearing to like the, you know, the finance professionals, I still think there's a way to bake in some personality to your headlines and to make them a little bit clearer into what you're about to talk about. You know, um, it just, again, it just feels very, uh, well, it feels like a bank, you know, it, it feels less like an inviting membership community, join the community and more like, Here's a free pen. Get the fuck out of my bank. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that joke doesn't apply here, but uh, that's my that's my two cents. And um, hope it was helpful. If it's you know obviously you know who I am and yeah, we've talked before. Reach out to me. Just just send me an email um, if you think I missed anything or if I got if you got any more questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, if you the watcher of this saw some like errors or places that they could improve. Please leave a comment. If you want your website critiqued by me, please go to moneylab.co slash submit, submit your website. And I will do a video here on YouTube and hopefully help you out. And if you like this video, do that. All right. What time is it? I got to go. Bye.